Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you've linked me in the comments section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me a link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. So for today, we're going to be looking at the Popov class shuttle. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, but you'll see the spelling in just a minute. And this is it. It's very reminiscent of the original drop ships that you used to have when you spawned in a survival world. Yeah, it's not really the same shape, but that is the feeling it's giving me when I go around it and fly it around. Now, if you don't know what the original drop ships were, they're essentially like a giant ball of resources that came with basically everything you needed to get a really good start in survival. You could build solar panels, you had a reactor, you had a medical bay that you could just tear off and place wherever. It was great, but I can see why they removed it. But anyway, pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. The Popov class shuttle is only 271 large blocks using no DLC packs and no mods. It does have one script, which is the auto door and airlock script. So this shuttle as it said in the description, is more for transporting goods or passengers from one place to another. It's not jump capable, but if you're a handy engineer, you could always slap one on somewhere and make it look good. So we're going to start by taking a look around the outside, and we're going to have a quick look on the interior and fly it around for a bit. So this is the front of our ship. We've got a very tiny bridge with our control seat sitting in there, which is great. I absolutely adore that block. We've got some light pink blocks and our standard greyish white blocks, that go all the way around the side. If you had access to the DLC packs, you could spruce this up with a texture pack. That's entirely up to you. As we move down a little bit, we can see the bottoms of our atmospheric thruster. This ship features all three types, but the atmospheric and the ion thrusters are purely there for assistance for the main thrust, which is hydrogen. Got a spotlight that sits on one side, and we can see three landing gear which have been safely moved away from the bottom of the ship. So there's plenty of clearance between your precious thrusters and the ground. As we come up and around the side here, we can see our entrance into the shuttle. We've got a window block that just leads up some doors, a double door there for an airlock. Then moving around to here, we've got our connector, which is featured on both sides. We have another landing gear, our battery, another atmospheric thruster, and then we've got our assembler. And here is our main thrust at the very back. So we've got a bunch of hydrogen thrusters, which is just enough to get around at a decent speed and have great maneuverability. And we've got the iron thrusters just to aid you and save you from consuming all your hydrogen when you're trying to scoot around. As we continue to move along to this side here, we've got a refinery, the basic one. That's all you need when you just want something simple. Then on the opposite side, instead of a doorway, we have nothing. If we come up and above here, we can see our antenna and some more thrusters and the top of our atmospheric thrusters as well. We come across over to here, we can see the top of our gyroscope. And on the opposite side, we've got a gravity generator, which is very useful. And then we have this weird little piece right here. This is your hydrogen generation and power, basically, where we've got some hydrogen thrusters, ore detector, hydrogen engine, and an O2 H2 generator with a couple of batteries. And then just below there, behind our main thrust, a large hydrogen tank to store all your hydrogen. As we come down and below this little shuttle, this is what we get. We get some lights, some more thrusters, and a camera. Yes, there are quite a few cameras on this shuttle that are hidden around everywhere that give you every view possible from the cockpit, which is great. And there we are, that is what we get. A nice simplistic ship with some great functionality. Now it's time for me to take control of my character and head on inside this ship. Let's come around here. I don't know why I keep calling it a ship. It's a shuttle. Yes, we can just come over to here. Open up the door. Double door, which has the auto door and airlock script. So if I was to leave that, it would eventually close by itself. And there we are. Turning around and coming through here, we can ignore that door. And this is our main area. So we've got some cargo containers to store stuff in, like your ice resources and tools and all that. We've got some chairs that sit around the side. And we've got some programmable blocks and a survival kit to respawn on. So as for our programmable blocks, like I said, we've got the whips, door and airlock script, which is sitting on this one over here. And then over here, we've got a blank one for you to do whatever with. Around this side here, we've got our survival kit. Then coming over to this side, we've got an auction tank where we can just view the little green bars on there to make sure we can see how much is inside it. 
Now for our cockpit, we come through this doorway over here, and this is what we get. A very tiny little room where we can just reach the back of the control seat, and here we are. A nice view to look around in, and we've got some controls. Number one is for our antenna on and off. Number three is for our lights on and off all the way around the ship, which does remove that nice glow. Number five is for our hydrogen thrusters off, and number six is for our ion thrusters off. Number eight is to put our batteries from auto into discharge, and number nine is to switch our hydrogen engine on and off. Tab number two, this is where all our sneaky cameras are. So we can view forwards, we can view left, we can view right, we can view the back, we can view up, and we can view down. Tab number three, four, and five have nothing else on them, so it's time to give this thing a little fly. So going forwards, this is the speed we get. We're nice and speedy, so we can transport goods and people in a very short amount of time. Stopping, we are a bit slower, but it's not too bad. Just make sure there's plenty of room between you and your target, and it won't be an issue. Going left, and going right, we're a little bit slower than going backwards, but it's still decent. And then going down, we're quite fast. And going up, we are very, very fast. And then wiggling my mouse around, this is what we get. There's a little bit of weight on there, so when you move the mouse, it does feel like it's dragging a little bit, but it's still very good, and you can do some precise movements with it. So anyway, that is it for this little shuttle. It's a great way of having an alternative start in survival mode, just paces in, delete your drop pod, and away you go. Yes, it is a little bit of cheating, but it does give you a nice alternative start. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself, and I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.